Hello, this is Fight Me, and in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make the best army comps for these four factions. So let's start off with Saba. So for Saba, I bring the Marip Camel Cataphract. I bring the seven Mascot Marauders. Their charge is like Thracian Warriors nearly. 36 charge bonus is mental. And they got more armor. So this is a crazy good unit, as long as you cycle it. Then I fill it up with the four archers. Get some extra swordsmen. What I also do is I get an extra Cataphract, get an extra saving sword, and then fill it up with one Desert Spearman to push up equipment. So this is the Saba army. I think it's pretty good. But let's head over over to Pontus on attack. So for Pontus on attack, you have a lot of funds and you won't be able to spend them all. So what you have to do is bring an elite shock calf, even though I don't like to bring cavalry as general. But yeah, furthermore, bring the seven Pontic swordsmen, but you have to shiver them up once so they can go toe to toe against Forex and be cheaper. So this is actually a pretty cost effective unit, but the only thing is it got 50 health. So it will be really weak to Pila and Missile Fire. But furthermore, I get the four Eastern Archers together with some Furrier Spears. I get a few Celtic Warriors and finally a giant Ballista. And then what I also do is I upgrade my mercenary Celtic Warriors and one for your spear. And here you go, this is the Pontic army on offense. It's not bad, but it's not the greatest. Pontus on the tag is not the best faction, so if you want to have a challenge, go play Pontus and try this army out. But let's head over to Gete. So for Gete on the tag, you have to bring at least spam. I bring six Noble Swords, which are really strong, together with three Dacian Heavy Bowmen and one 1 to 5 range archer to just shoot infantry with. I get the four Axe Warriors and then I fill it up with two Spear Warriors, which have 65 armor, which can tank some people for your noble swords and then i upgrade once my axe warrior and here you go a zero funds army for gete let's head over to Massilia on attack so for Massilia, i bring the Massilian cavalry general which is really nice really cheap and it's decent i bring of course the seven forex swords then fill it up with the three mercenary gallic hunters and then i bring six Massilian first spears because Massilia is a little bit like pontus you got to waste your money on something if you just bring celtics and something else you won't be able to use all your funds so i bring six Massilian first spears which are actually pretty good units they got 30 charge bonus which is crazy for a spear unit so you got to cycle them after you use all those five pila volleys and then i bring one ballista and fill it up with two celtic warriors and here you go your zero funds army when i play this army i really enjoy it i think it's pretty nice but yeah let me know what you guys think of this one now let's head over to Sabe on defense so for Sabe on defense i bring the elite camel cataphract furthermore i bring of course the seven mass god marauders which are crazy good but only got a little bit low armor i fill it up with four sabian swords and if you didn't know about the sabian swords they are super fast they have nearly the same speed as a really heavy cataphract you should test that once out. They run like crazy. But with that, I bring two saving archers. I don't bring four of them because they are a little bit of a scam. For this amount of money, you should be able to bring a 150 range archer, but now you get only a 1 to 5 range archer. So I only bring two of them, and then I combine them with two slingers, which are pretty cheap and which can do their job. And then I also on defense get an extra cataphract. Cataphract, especially on defense, can be really useful. And then I finally finish up with the pretty decent spearman, the Sabian spearman, 65 armor, pretty high melee defense when they are on shield screen and they will survive for a long time so yeah that's the saba army on defense let's head over to pontus so for pontus on defense i do bring the seven pontic swordsmen also one as my general upgrade them all once to make them able to go toe to toe against forex and be more cost effective and then i fill it up with four archers i get one citizen calf to be annoying outside plus i get three mercenary celtic warriors and then i fill it up with three spears and here you go this is my pontus army on defense let's head over to gete also for gete on defense you have to bring at least them there are no other units that you can over I spring. You have the axe warriors, which are really useful, so you get four of them. I actually have to get rid of one noble sword. I bring the four Dacian heavy bowmen, and then I finally finish it up with the spear horsemen, which are pretty nice. They're heavily armored, they can do their damage. So yeah, this is my Gete army. I think it's pretty strong, even on defense. So yeah, let's head over to Massilia. So the Massilia army I really enjoy. It fits perfect with the funds, and it's really nice and balanced. So what I do, I get the Massilian cavalry general, I get the three archers, and the one slinger, because that's what you need for your missile force. Especially on defense, you got to bring that slinger. Then I fill it up with the seven for swords i get three for your spears because they're really good and they're really useful to shoot elite infantry or zone out archers etc and then i fill it all with celtic warriors and here you go your perfect zero funds army if you enjoyed it smash the like button and make sure to watch this video where i'll be showing you how to make the best army columns for four different factions so i will see you guys there bye bye